Don't take your client for granted. An MRR business is great because it's a predictable revenue model, but one of the biggest dangers for any MRR business is to sign up a client and then just assume that they'll stay your client forever. The more you can touch the client, the better your relationship will be and the longer they're going to stay your client. And no matter, no better way to do this than with regular business reviews. Do an official review quarterly, we call them QBRs, to review their IT and unearth problems and opportunities to help them. The audit report is perfect to review with your clients to keep them updated and educated on their progress. Each quarter, you simply clone the previous audit and quickly make the changes. In just a few minutes, you can prepare a presentation that will show them where they stand and will help you upgrade and cross-sell them on new things that they need. You show them their audit score from last quarter compared to this. If it improves, great. If it decreases because there's new technology they need, they'll easily understand why they need it. We call that frictionless selling. Let's take a quick look at how it works. Now you're looking inside of the audit trail for a client. You can see here we've got three different levels. We've got the baseline audit, which is where we start with this client. This is when we go in and we do the technical assessment and we come back with our findings and create the baseline audit. You can see that it's got a very low audit score of 24 and a lot of red and yellow. Then we create the proposed audit, which is where we want to take them over the course of our time together. And the next level, of course, is what we were talking about, which is the quarterly business reviews. And you can see that we've got three of them here so far. Every time we want to create a new one, we simply go in here and clone this as a QBR plan. Now you can see we've just created a duplicate of quarter three, and we're going to go in and edit this. First thing we're going to do is just edit the plan details to reflect the correct quarter. At this point, it's as simple as going into each summary statement and changing the items to reflect any changes. Sometimes the changes will be taking something from red to yellow or yellow to green or red to green to show our improvements that we've made. Sometimes it will be taking something that's green to red or yellow because of a business need change or a technology change. For example, Antivirus, we're going to remove this time around. We're going to just drag it off, and then we're going to go and add next generation endpoint protection because we want to have higher level uh, security for them. From here, we're just going to go in and edit the summary statement and turn it to red. And we're going to change the weight on this to five because we've made the assessment that this is really, really important for this client. Once we've made the changes, we just hit save category settings and we're good to go. And once we've completed our changes that we're going to make, and you can see the audit scores decreased this time around, we're just going to go ahead and print the report. We can print this as a standalone audit. We can compare it to the quarter before, to the baseline audit, to the proposed audit, and just show where we've been and where we want to go. So in this case, we'll go ahead and compare this to quarter three. And that's all there is to it. You can see that this is the QBR plan for quarter four. Here's our summary page, which will, their eyes are going to be immediately drawn to this red because they're going to be like it was green last quarter. So they're going to immediately wonder why that's changed to red. And here we show them a little further and deeper detail on what's going on. And then, of course, we've got our supporting infographic to help us explain the complex technical details and show them in a more emotionally impactful and easy to understand way. When your clients stay educated on what you're doing and have the opportunity to ask you questions, they'll see the value. You'll also have opportunities to increase your revenue and service to them through cross-sells and upsells. Your competition is actively trying to wedge into your business. The fastest way to lose a client is by being out of sight and out of mind. Stay front and center by regular and frequent contact with your clients through business reviews, social media, newsletters, and whatever else you can do to add ongoing value.